Hello, students, families, and staff of the Muroc Joint Unified School District. My name is Kevin Cordes. I'm the district superintendent, and thank you for joining me on this special video announcement. On February 28th, Governor Newsom made an announcement related to masks in schools for both students and for staff. Starting on March 12th, um, in the state of California, all up and down the state, all school districts will be operating under a highly recommended stage for schools and masks implementation. So what that means for us is we'll be on spring break March 12th. When we come back from spring break, we will begin to implement choice for mask wearing, regardless of vaccination status, regardless of booster status. It has been approved for all students and grades preschool all the way up through 12th grade and has also been approved through Cal OSHA for all adults working in schools as well. So it will be a personal choice if you would like to wear a mask. Now we have always honored everyone's choice in this and have wanted people to have choice for some time now and we have been advocating for that. That's what we have now. So you will see and hear things like it's highly recommended that you wear a mask. And that's true. That is the state's standpoint. And so that's our stance. But everyone has the option to wear a mask or not in school. This is a district wide decision that is being implemented, similar to a start time for school or a start or a stop time or many of the other decisions that are created in the district, they're covered district wide. So that means your student won't won't um, bump into a situation where there's one teacher, um, say we have a teacher who says, no, I want masks in my room. That isn't the way that works. So it's it's optional for everyone. Again, regardless of vaccination status, regardless of booster status, regardless of philosophy on this. It's up to everyone, and all I'm going to ask is that we all be respectful of each other as people are going to make the decisions that they feel are best for themselves and their families. So with that being said, thank you for your patience and your understanding and your partnership with us as we have stayed the course to follow what we have been told that we needed to do so that we could keep schools open and operational for students and to keep everyone as healthy and as safe as possible. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your site principals, ask any questions you have. If you don't get the answers you want, I always give out my cell phone. So 760-250-3210. I just ask that you speak with principals first if you have any questions, but just know masks are going to be optional once we return back on March 15th. We'll have some other announcements. We are getting updates to different things. We're also making some other decisions um, on things. There is no update um, and there are no adjustments made to contact tracing. So we're still looking to see if there are students who are exhibiting symptoms in school. We're still needing to do the testing. None of that has changed. This is only related to masks, but masks will be optional for everyone when we come back from spring break. Thank you very much. Goodbye.